So right now we're in Barcelona. Tomorrow is the big day and we're starting the Nomad cruise. We're meeting new people. The cruise starts tomorrow. It's finally here. We're super excited to start the Nomad cruise tomorrow. 490 people from 51 countries from Barcelona to Brazil. We can't wait to get this started. We have 490 digital nomads on Nomad Cruise this year. I think we have like 100 or 150 alumni on board right now. One of the things I love about the Nomad Cruise is just the diversity of the type of people it attracts. We're all from different parts of the world, like literally all over Europe. There's people from North America, South America, Africa, Asia. Germany, for sure. Uh, I know Germany's top one. Uh, I know Netherlands is another big one. Some from Mexico, South America, Central America. People from Czech Republic, people from Poland, people from the US, New Zealand, Australia. In addition to the diversity of where people come from, there's so much diversity in terms of age. I mean, there's people that are actually kids in the audience. I like the age range actually, that it's young people, let's say from 20 plus, 25, 24, but also I've seen some older people up until 60, I think, so it's a broad age range. Then you see that the whole digital nomad world is still small, but it's really, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. You think the nomads are only young people and partying like crazy, but it could be for everyone, like a family. There's also so much diversity in terms of where people come from professionally. I mean, you'll find people here that are uh, the classic startup digital nomad who found a way to make money online. Some people are bloggers and writers. Programmers, software developers, uh, freelancers. Established digital nomads, people who have been running e-commerce businesses for five years or more. But there's also people here who are just exploring the ideas of uh, what it's like to be a digital nomad, ways to become a digital nomad, and kind of what this idea of location independence is and might, like, what role it might be able to have in their lives. 490 digital nomads in the same room, excited and happy to start this new adventure. What I really love about this cruise is that there's no typical day. You know, there's, it might be uh, kind of a routine, like if you're lucky, you wake up early enough to get to the gym. where there might be a, a yoga class or a boot camp class led by fellow cruisers. Or you can go for a nice peaceful jog around the track and cover some distance and just enjoy the sunrise if you wake up early enough. Have a really good breakfast, fulfilling breakfast with really good food like veggies and eggs, and then attend the workshops and the talks. Usually we start the morning with keynotes, these are 20 minute short talks, often very inspirational. And then in the afternoon we go deeper into topics like workshops that are about one and a half hours and where people really teach based on one topic. This could be pricing, web design. How to make money on Amazon. How do you get customers? How do you approach? Advance on crypto, on meditation. What I think the Nomad Cruise does really well is it creates a variety of options for people to choose your own adventure. Like, what do you want to learn? Do you want to learn technical skills? We have it. You want to learn inner self-development, public speaking, all these types of activities. One really unique thing about the Nomad Cruise is the fact that you can organize meetups by yourself. So if you are interested in yoga, or if you are interested in, I don't know, deep relaxations method, or if you are interested in how to stop procrastination, you can organize your own meetups. And there have been countless, I mean, I would say hundreds of different meetups where people can connect on a like-minded subject to share their perspective 
And this is where the real connections actually come together because the smaller the group, the more intimate you have the conversation and the more focused on the topic it is. So we are talking about uh, Nomad Cruise, which is a conference at sea. You should expect to, to be part of a lot of talks, workshops, and a lot of knowledge. And also, you should expect to have some fun. There is a beautiful pool on the top deck, and a lot of people also hang out and chill around the pool. Cocktail in the jacuzzi, or go for a swim. And then there's dinner time, where we all get together and have an amazing uh, community. People break into different topics, people form friendships. Later after dinner, it's uh, time for partying, having fun at the pool bar. The wow moment was that there is so much talent. So many people have skills, talents, and we even had a talent show. I thought the talent show was the most hilarious, but most beautiful and wonderful experience of bringing the community together and watching professional performances. And some really funny performances too. Greg Curtin, yeah, and uh, that was just, when you put on the pants of Bori and just walking around. <laughs> My favorite would be David, who did a crazy freaking demonstration of how smart he is with the photographic memory. I have never seen anything like it. A famous YouTube six-figure guitar course entrepreneur uh, deliver an incredible guitar solo kind of set on stage. So while it's fun to spend time on this cruise ship, there's so much to do on the excursions on the islands and the stops. Our first stop was on a town called Alicante on the coast of Spain. A lot of the Nomad cruisers went on a, uh, a free tour that uh, Alicante Board of Tourism was kind enough to put together for us. The next stop was in uh, Tenerife. A lot of people went hiking in the really famous mountains that are near there. We were like 60 people in that hike and it was, it was really good because it was a change of scenery after the moving boat. The last stop that we went on was in an amazing exotic island called Cape Verde. Oh, Cape Verde, Cape Verde. That was a really good stop. It was a place in which I haven't been. Yeah, definitely the highlight, like the best stop new of country. the whole trip. Yeah, also First for us, uh, yeah, both of us for a new country. When we stepped off of the boat, we saw there were all these trucks that were fitted with two benches on each side in the bed of the truck. We just drove around the island, went up to like the, one of the mountains there, which had an epic view. There were a bunch of us. I think in the end, uh, a couple of the cruisers, they organized um, 66, 67 of us to go diving and free diving. And so at the end of the day, most of the Nomad cruisers ended up congregating back at kind of like a central beach, a beautiful place where everyone was just there having fun, doing a little bit of salsa dancing and just relaxing and taking in the views before getting back on the ship.
best moments are actually when you really connect with someone because there's a lot of people, especially now, and uh, yeah, you have to greet, you talk quickly, hey, what are you doing, where are you from? But if you really connect with someone in a deeper level, maybe some interesting subject that you both found interesting, uh, that's really a good moment that you take time to, to connect. For me, the most fun were just, just the people, like, you know, how, seeing them over and over again. And, and how close you actually get after spending so much time together. Yeah, you're just walking around and hugging everyone, like, yeah, hey, good to see you again, like people you only know four days, but it just feels really nice, actually. Yeah. Really just being in this place, trapped on a boat for two weeks with people, that is the most important thing. It's not necessarily the, the conference that's organized, well, that, although that does provide a framework, it's what you do after, after the organized activities that really benefits you. A big problem in the nomad life is that even though we know a lot of people, that there's not really a space for deep connections and with Nomad Cruise we facilitate these deep connections. For some nomads, the, it's difficult that you feel loneliness when you get into a new place. But with the cruise, you always, you will always find a friendly face wherever you go. Yeah. I'm around people that understand why I'm living this lifestyle, which is very important because I don't get that feeling too much at home. That's how I feel. I feel like I belong here. It's just been so nice to meet a bunch of people who. I resonate with and resonate with me and they're doing the same thing. They're living around the world. They've got their location independent businesses and I don't need to explain myself. And that's why I'm here. I, I, I'm here because as cheesy as it sounds, I found my, my tribe, I guess. I feel welcome. I feel that I'm part of the community, like a community. And I, I made friends and I gain a lot, of, uh, a lot of knowledge. So I think the strength of, uh, of a Nomad Cruise is the returners as well as the new people. They come back because there is a community and there is something to build further on. In the end, what is the Nomad Cruise? In one word, I would say it's a community. And so this is the welcoming to the community and the community lives on in many different ways from going to a future cruise event to other types of events that are happening, to something informal. But really it's about joining the community and building the future that you want. More than you are a digital nomad is that you've been on Nomad Cruise and you understand the value of the community. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really special. <laughs> <laughs>
really great to, to bridge the moment until the next cruise comes again. So. No bloopers. Promise. It's funny how people get nervous in front of the camera when there's nothing happening. There's nothing happening right now. It's just what could happen. Like the fear of judgment in a future imaginary world is still powerful. Our first stop was on this beautiful coastal town called Alicante on Spain. Okay. That sucked. All right. Last night when all the guys pulled their pants down, that was pretty wow. I was like, yeah. But I heard the the wine tour was interesting. A lot of people came a little bit woozy back from that. <laughs> this is a drill, this is a drill, yeah. this is a drill. And then, yeah, it was just super, super funny. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff happening. Yeah. <laughs>